Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas Day 10. I am back with another makeup video, another new background. I think filming in front of the windows is just key to having better views of the makeup and lighting and background and everything. So please let me know if you guys agree with that. I actually had a comment about a really good idea about switching my vanity into the bedroom and moving this dresser next to me over into that nook. So, it's kind of been on my mind to do that just because I really want my makeup videos to be some of the best content on my channel, of course. I hope you guys enjoy today's look. Of course, we're keeping it very festive and holiday with this really pretty red lip. This red lip is literally just a few different lip liners, so it's not such a stark, harsh red lipstick, and you can kind of take it a few different ways. So, we'll get into that and I'll explain everything about it, but I think it's a really fresh, pretty easy holiday makeup look that anybody can do and it's not overwhelming so whether it's a work party or a family party or something even more fun at night going out with friends I feel like this look will be perfect for any time of day in any holiday situation can we just give this top a moment as well this is my go-to holiday top for this year. I saw this in the window at H&M and I immediately had to go into the store and see if they had my size. I bought it immediately. I'm so obsessed with it and I think it looks really cute, especially with this makeup look. So I'll try and um, link this top down below. I think they had all black version as well, but I just love the classy vibe this gives. And yeah, this is the final look. It's a really pretty light easy red lip with a little shadow liner going on and some sparkly bright eyelids with a pretty regular base full coverage of course one of you guys actually gave me the inspiration for this asking for just a really simple sparkly eye and holiday themed look so that's exactly what we did here the two products that give you that sparkly eye effect obviously you'll see in the video but they're from makeup by mario these are the master crystal reflectors i have the shade quartz and the shade citrine and i used both these are really pretty like sparkly shadow toppers you could put this on top of any other regular shadow or you can use it on its own it's like a sheer just straight sparkle shadow so i love these throw back to years ago urban i almost said urban outfitters urban decay i feel like is that brand even like around anymore i don't even think it's in sephora anymore but urban decay used to have the shadow called Space Cowboy, which was a very similar effect. It was basically just like a sheer, super glittery shadow. That one's actually amazing. I should see if it's still available because I need to get my hands on it. But these are like the newer versions of that for Makeup by Mario. And I love this brand a lot. And I really like these products. And I think it's nice that they come in a few different shades. So I mixed them today for this look. And that's really, that's all that's on the lid. So it's a very simple, easy look. And I think you guys are going to enjoy Enjoy it so if you want to learn how to get this holiday makeup look then just keep watching hey guys we're starting with a bare face and this wonderful big pimple of course pulling my hair back just to have a clean open surface to work on going in with my elf matte putty primer since i have felt like my skin has been oilier lately so i've been double priming this is going to fill in my pores and keep my skin more matte throughout the day really pressing that into all areas of my face and hack i've been adding it to my eyelids lately since i always have oily eyelids then going in with our second primer this is the rare beauty pore diffusing primer it's another like smoothing product but this has a little bit more slip to it and not necessarily mattifying so applying that everywhere as well then of course some lip plumper to prep our lips for later this is the Too Faced lip injection maximum plump then going in with one of my new favorite products if you watched in one of the vlogs recently this is the dupe for the charlotte tilbury wander glow and this is the elf halo glow product i'm using the shade five here and blending out with my favorite brush from sephora and this just gives my skin so much color and gives an instant tan look with also adding that glow from within so you can use a darker shade for this effect or you could get a lighter shade for more of the highlighted glow effect i like the shade two as well now going in with one of my favorite full coverage foundations this is the Fenty foundation and I am dotting this all over my face then blending out with my Real Techniques beauty sponge 
I love this foundation so much. It has a soft matte finish. Then going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is a much lighter shade than my face. Since we were adding so much of the tanning product, I like to kind of balance it out with my concealer sometimes. So applying this under the eyes, forehead, cupid's bow chin, and a little under where we would contour. This will give an instant shaping to the face before we even go in with any contour products as you will see here. It's always nice to brighten up your face with still having the tan effect then we're going to set it with one of my new favorite setting powders this is the milani make it last pressed powder i'm using my sponge going right into the compact and then patting under my eyes all over my lids then i kept the powder off of my cheeks for the most part because we're using a cream blush today this is westman altier it's a more expensive high-end brand i bought this while i was in new york but i really wanted a punch of a rich deep blush color so this is the darkest blush that i own i'm taking this on a sonia kashik brush working off the back of my hand and slowly building up the cheeks with lots of blush you guys know i kind of like to go overboard and then going back in with my beauty sponge just no more product on it to blend out now going in with my Park Ave Princess Contour Palette from Tarte. This is such an OG classic palette. It has three different contour shades and two brightening shades. Here I am mixing a few of those shades to contour, warm up the perimeter of the face, under the jawline, on the nose. I kind of keep the face pretty blown out and here I'm going in with the lighter colors on the palette on my sponge to clean up under the cheeks. Okay, we're going on to brows. I'm wiping off any excess product that happened to get on them and then brushing them out with a spoolie. Then going in with my classic tried and true RMS Beauty back to brow powder in the shade dark using my angled brush from Morphe that I cannot live without. I'm also going to use this brush for the eyeliner in today's look, so I highly recommend it. I'm going to fill in my brows pretty boldly starting at the front creating a sharp edge on the bottom and then blending and feathering upward and then of course filling in the tails as well. Then going back in with the spoolie to blend out those powders, make sure everything looks seamless. Then to set that in, of course, the best clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Clear brow gel, brushing those through. Now going in with a MAC Single Shadow in Blanc Type. This has been my go-to shadow for brightening the inner corner. But today we are going to use it as a base all over the lid as well as up on the brow bone before we top off with the glitter products that I showed you guys earlier. So packing that all on. Then I'm just grabbing a fluffy brush with no other product on it and just kind of blending this out. You can see just from adding lighter colors, it almost gives the effect like we have something in the crease when really we don't. Okay, now we're just going to layer these Makeup by Mario eye shimmer products i can't remember the name off the top of my head right now i'm packing on the seat train color first as it's more of a gold then topping off with the quartz color which is a lot brighter more of a white iridescent shade i love how these look paired together if you're going to only get one i would go for the lighter shade compared to your skin tone for that true brightening look i'm using this brush just to wipe off any fallout from under the eye then going in with another mac single shadow in charcoal brown taking the same brush i did my brows with to do a shadow winged liner this is one of my favorite makeup techniques ever instead of using a harsh liquid liner or something black you can take a dark shadow of your choice to create a shadow liner so really just pressing this against the lash line and then slowly winging it out from the corner of the eye then taking a pencil brush and that same color and blending underneath the eye of course the more blown out the better cleaning up with a sponge always know you can go back in with your sponge to fix anything up now i'm going in with my favorite blush palette from juvia's place and just adding a little bit more punch of that darker shade on the cheeks wiping off the lip plumper checking out the makeup <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to highlight the inner corner even more using that same Blanc type shadow, just really packing this on in the one specific area to create that super bright highlighted look. Now taking more of the Milani Make It Last powder to really clean up the under eye, make sure everything is smooth and set. Going back in with the liner. 
Okay, now we're going to curl our eyelashes. This one is from Tweezerman. I love a good fresh eyelash curler. I really take my time on this and kind of pulse up and down on each side, go back and forth about two times. Okay, now before we actually go in with our mascara, I always like to set my face beforehand so nothing smears. I'm just taking the classic Morphe setting spray and doing a few layers of that cleaning off my hand. Now going in with mascara, two classics, L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous Mascara. Make sure the actual shade is the carbon black color too. I'm applying this to my upper lashes and again really taking my time kind of wiggling and feathering it from inner corner to outer corner, going back and forth from eye to eye. This is just such a classic easy to use mascara. Then for the lower lashes, I am going to take my MAC Giga Black Extended Play Mascara. I love how skinny this wand is and it does not smudge on me at all. So I'm applying this on the lower lashes, making sure I'm getting all those little baby corner lashes. You can see I got a bit on my skin, so you want to let that dry fully. Then just take a Q-tip and swipe it away. It will flick right off. That is truly the best way to fix any mascara mistakes just make sure it's dry before you flick it off i went back in and fixed with a little bit of the brightening shadow again then i'm adding some more of that blanc type shadow just on the lid over top the sparkle just to really make sure everything's blended and bright going back in with my beauty sponge and beating the face to make sure everything is very blended okay now going in with one of my favorite red lip liners it's such a pretty almost raspberry red color from charlotte tilbury in the shade walk of shame i'm going to do this on the outer lip line and doing an overline of course kind of filling in my cupid's bow i love this color on its own but you could also top it with a super light nude gloss for a totally different effect but still to give that red underneath color but today i'm going to top it off with a brighter red lip liner from laura mercier and just kind of blending this on the center of the lip for more of a true opaque red i love the combo of the two lip liners and i know it will last all day then just topping off with this new clear lip gloss from fenty it's called the ice and it's a nice minty fresh super glossy shiny lip gloss so i topped it off with that to make them more hydrated and i love a fresh glossy lip there we go checking out the makeup here's a closer look and just like that, we are all done and I'm going to close out this video. I just switched tops and fixed up my hair a little bit. So this is what the final makeup is looking like. Obviously what I saw in the beginning, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you recreate this or do your own spin on it, please let me know. Tag me on Instagram or somewhere where you post. I would love to see your guys' looks. I think truly this is just the perfect, easy, fresh holiday makeup look for any party, any age honestly too even if you're like younger in middle school you could just go lighter on the face makeup just a really sparkly bright eye with a nice natural red lip with just using a lip liner and a clear gloss i just feel like it's such an easy universal holiday makeup look so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching as always and thank you for being patient and understanding with my vlogmas content it is just not easy i'm not gonna make excuses just know that i am trying my very very best and I hope you guys enjoy these little sprinkled in makeup videos and regular other videos over the vlogs too. Thank you as always for being here and for supporting me. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you should definitely click that subscribe button. It's a huge help for me and it helps you not miss a video with having my videos pop up in your subscription box. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Emily Jean Beauty pretty much everywhere. I love you guys all so, so much and I will see you in tomorrow's video for Vlogmas Day 11. Bye. I change my head.